This is a three times playback teardown of the THD74 by Kenwood. I'm going to take every circuit board out of this thing, every single screw, everything. I've seen some videos it pulled off the faceplate and kind of gave us a preview. And I was looking to wire up to this thing, uh, discover a bit more about the internals, how it works, maybe dump the firmware. So let's get into this. You can see the knobs on the top just pull off. That's pretty basic. I'm looking at this thing right now, trying to figure out how to get into it. A couple screws on the bottom there. That little blue tray is used for holding uh, watch parts. And you can find them on Amazon and other places. I have a few of them that come in handy for storing screws as you're tearing things down. There's a longer video of this that's available that's at single speed playback. Um, so if you're watching this, anything here, uh, if you're at one minute, if you just jump to that video at three minutes, you're at the same point, but going slow if you really want to see something detailed. I unscrewed that because I'm going to have to get this top plastic part off. It's also held by the other um, little screw down part you can see for the antenna that I haven't taken out yet. But it turns off this, uh, this faceplate here just pulls straight off. Um, it's just kind of clipped on there and there's a, you see a little flat ribbon cable. So I'll lay it down here and just use a little screwdriver to lift the flap right there that's clamping that down and then that'll pull right out. And so your keypad and speaker and everything are on the front there. I didn't take any of that apart. There wasn't anything real interesting there. So this little back piece, I'll, uh, I'll eventually figure out that I got to unscrew that other part there and, uh, and it'll come off. There's also this little battery on the bottom left you see. I'll try to kind of think about popping that out, but it's in there pretty good. If you look at it, um, there's some detailed pictures you'll see on the um, Richesum wiki. It's a reverse engineering wiki. There's a link in the description to it. I have detailed pictures of all these circuit boards. I was taking apart the whole thing to, to try to discover uh, what's going on with it, maybe dump the firmware, find any kind of test points, anything that are available. So the first step is just taking the whole thing apart, right? Document, pictures, find data sheets for all the parts. Um, so I never did take that little battery out. I'm not sure what it's a battery backup for. I haven't looked yet, um, but it didn't cause any problems. Uh, spoiler alert, I pulled the whole thing apart. You'll see every single piece. It all went back together just fine. Um, powers up just fine. There's another video where I wire a bunch of uh, different wires to test points and, um, and to a little port that's on there. And uh, there'll be a link to that video as well when I, when I put it up. I still have to voice over that thing. So the screen here, I popped the little ribbon connector off. And it's actually just clamped on there. So I just use a flathead screwdriver on these things and they slowly uh, they come apart and twist off. I don't have the proper tool to use that, that they must have um, to take off those little brass bushings. And then you see, see that top comes off. This little piece on the back here is the FM antenna, I believe. It's encased in a little rubber holder. There's a three pin connector underneath there. So you just kind of pull on the thing and it'll come off. It's all kind of rubberized and it, it feels like it's attached maybe a little better than it is. But if you just pull on it, that little connector uh, unclips, you'll see it here. There it is. Now as for the screen, uh, there's some little metal clips up the top. You'll see I'll put the screwdriver underneath there pretty soon. and. And I'll kind of get the, uh, there we go, it pops. At first it kind of scared me, like, uh-oh, I broke this thing, but but it just uh, unclips from there. So now we can take off the rest of the screws that are holding this top board on. So there's three cables when this board comes off. I, I apologize, this whole thing kind of moved out of frame, and I wasn't paying close enough attention to the camera. So there's two cables right at the very top near the antenna connector. There's one for the GPS antenna that's coming across that's a little uh, little connector you can just pop off. And there's also the ribbon cable from the, um, the selector that's used to select channels and the, the volume knob um, that comes off pretty easy. And then there's also the um, there's a, a ribbon cable right in the middle you see I'm popping off there that's an interconnect between those two boards. So now that the top board's off, there's a ton of screws that hold the bottom board to the case. So the top board has the, um, the processor, 
um, and memory and everything else. And the bottom board seems to just be the transceiver board. So we'll take out all these screws, but uh, what's interesting is, is you'll see at the very top, the SMA connector is actually soldered to the board. And the only way to take this board out is to uh, heat up that pin and uh, lift the whole board out. So I'm, I'm right now trying to figure out how the heck does this board come out? Do I just need to unscrew the SMA connector? I'm prying a little bit. And, and the key with any of these things is, you know, gentle touch, right? Uh, don't, uh, don't push on stuff too hard or you're going to break it. So I unscrew one of the screws on the top there and I realize that that connector is, uh, it, it goes on from the top. So it's not pulling through just because I took these screws out. Um, and so I, I try a, a couple different ways. I, I cut those other ways out of the video and the way that actually worked is to use a little dental pick here to go underneath the board to kind of add a little upward pressure and heat up that pin with a soldering iron. And so I add a little solder and I lift it up. I get it disconnected. I'm pretty happy about that. I think I thumbs up right here. Yeah, super pumped about that. So the board comes out now. Um, and so you see there's a little paste on the bottom there um, that uh, is where uh, kind of a heat sink for the 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 transistors, power transistors. There's a little standoff here. I just take that out real quick so that I can slide out the um, selector and and that's the whole thing taken apart. So that's every single piece. Now on the very top there's a GPS antenna that's still there. Um, there's the SMA connector. The GPS antenna is just double stick taped onto there. You can actually just kind of pull it off. And I didn't take off the SMA um, any further because I didn't see uh, I didn't see a reason to. So I'll link to the other video um, when I post it that shows the, the test point connections and you'll see a detailed uh, link to detailed pictures here. And like I said, everything went back together, still works, uh, works just fine, um, even after the uh, other video that you'll see uh, posted.